Overtaking and being overtaken are two of the situations in which crashes involving more than one vehicle occur. These manoeuvres are potentially dangerous for many reasons. The most important being that the overtaking vehicle is often in the path of oncoming traffic. The distance required to overtake may look very compact in the static situation, but in fact increases substantially because of the speed of both vehicles. Where oncoming traffic has to be considered, at least half a mile of clear road is needed to overtake safely at highway speeds of 60 miles an hour when converging speeds are around 120 miles an hour. Two basic elements of defensive driving, knowledge and judgment, apply especially to overtaking. Know the capabilities of your car, particularly acceleration. And be able to assess the driver ahead. Is he driving erratically, impatiently, are there conditions ahead which may cause him to alter course? Converging speeds are much higher than people imagine, leaving little time for adjustments. Take this case. You start to overtake. The driver ahead sees this as a challenge to him and speeds up. You're racing neck and neck. An oncoming vehicle stares you in the face. Do you press on? or drop back. You brake. So does the driver you were overtaking. A side swipe. Almost certain damage to the vehicles. His fault? Well, yes. But yours too. You joined in the race. As soon as you realised his tactics, you should have dropped back before any critical situation had a chance to develop. If in doubt, don't. The drill for correct overtaking is ensure the road ahead is clear to complete the manoeuvre. Check your rear vision mirror and your mirror blind spot. Signal your intention. Change gear if necessary. Move into the next lane and accelerate. When the car you've overtaken is visible in your mirror, return to your proper lane. Remember to cancel your signal. Overtaking several cars at once can be dangerous because you might be trapped over the centre line and have to push in. If other cars in front of you are also waiting to pass a slow vehicle, it's safer to let them do so first. An impatient manoeuvre by you could be risky if the car ahead pulls out while you're in his blind spot. So, if you think the driver ahead is unaware of you, sound a warning note. And remember to check your blind spot too. But not all dangerous overtaking situations occur on the highway. Suppose you're in the left lane of a two-lane road. A car ahead, and in the right-hand lane, signals a right turn. There's no cross-traffic from the right. A clear run-through. Or is it? Where did he come from? He came from ahead and made an ill-timed right turn. With the cars in this position, the driver of the green car was unable to see the red car because his view was temporarily blocked by the white car turning right. Seeing the white car's right turn indicator flashing, the red car driver thought he saw an opening for his right turn also. Let's look at the incident again and see what went wrong. You should have picked out that oncoming car before the white car blocked your vision and realised he could turn. Reducing speed and resting your foot lightly on the brake would have enabled you to stop and prevent this accident. Foresight, judgment and knowledge of the possibilities should have made you more cautious. Take extra care when overtaking on the left of another vehicle. 
As overtaking is more frequently done on the right, many drivers take less care when changing to a left lane. Your own attitude is the best safety measure you have. Be patient and tolerant. The traffic weaver is one of the most annoying people on the road. Selfish, unpredictable, a danger to himself and everyone else. We've noticed this one coming up behind us. Do we close up to keep him out and teach him a lesson? Certainly not. We're only too pleased to let him pass, the sooner the better. Because being overtaken by another vehicle also demands patience and tolerance. When you see in your rear view mirror that you are being overtaken, help the other driver as much as you can. Don't make sudden speed changes that will confuse him. Hold your speed if he looks like slowing down. If the situation looks tight, check your mirror, slow down and let him ease in ahead. Not only will you help the other driver, but you also protect yourself. And that, after all, is the essence of defensive driving. Thank you.